Team, Petty checking in with another unboxing. Um, this time we've got two of the Dell uh, Office C monitors. They're the 32s. Uh, these are to replace some existing 27 inch Dells I've had for about oh, five to seven years. They've been awesome. Um, one of them's packed it in, and the other one was shown on the line for a while ago. So I was pretty happy with those ones. Um, and wasn't really keen to change, but these ones have been recommended by some mates who are like obviously experts. So we'll just um, unbox these guys. I've never seen these. Um, yeah, so that's it there. You got a nice photo. The box is really nice. It's in like this matte finish and it shows everything, which is pretty cool. Pretty premium. Pretty premium presentation and boxing. Um, that's how they came from the couriers too. So. You can see they're a bit banged up around the corners, but I'm sure they'll be they'll be sweet. Um, so nice big box. We've got one of these lava lids that goes open. Um, oof, Ultra Sharp 32 4K calibration factory. Shit, that's pretty cool. So it looks like these have been tested. Wow. So. I don't know, I think they're like a, maybe a mid, mid, low to mid spec model, I'm not too sure. Um, Bunning style instructions, picture, 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 right eh? so that's fine. So what have we got? We got a uh, display port, display port cable, awesome. I don't normally chuck them in. Ooh, it's got one USB-C to USB-C cable because these monitors can daisy chain. So I've got two. So essentially, a uh, signal from your PC or whatever goes into the monitor that then can act as a hub, I believe, and then go to the second one. So you don't have to run two cables. So that's cool. Uh, then we've also got uh, USB-A to USB-C. That looks like the new one with the blue. Nice. Uh, we've got the standard power cable, so you've got the triple, and then jug cord, sweet. Um, um, Dell blah blah blah, BIOS version. Safety information, so how do you use a monitor safely, that's amazing. Thanks Dell. So, it's packaging. Now this is the, wow, that's got some weight to it. Base plate, covered in the nice rice bubbles, foam protection stuff. Wow, that's solid metal. It's got um, the bolt, which will secure the monitor stand with the hand screw. That's really good. Makes it easy so you don't have to use a screwdriver. Nice. That's really heavy. That's excellent quality. And you can see that's, Looks cast, cast, maybe it's alley, I think. Oh, it might even be steel actually with the weight of that. Looks pretty solid. Got the nice little floor desk pad so it doesn't skid around there, rubberized. Black edging, so it's in like a silver matte finish. That's, I guess, what you're going to see is that fascia edge, so that's that's a winner. Um, what else? What else do we have? So, got some of these foam tools. So, that's some. Um, some jump. Yeah. Okay, that looks like that's all for this top honeycomb protective packaging. Very good. Aha, so here is the stand. So, same in the Rice bubble paper there, amazing. So that's going to click into the back of the monitor, amazing. So that's going to be the front side that faces us with the Dell logo, that's good. So we might just put that base plate on. Um, <clears throat> so we've got the base plate. So look at that photo, probably should look at the instructions. So we can see that that monitor stand goes to the back of the base plate. So this will be in this orientation. 
So we're going to need to have this gel which faces us go straight down there. I'm pretty sure it'll only go one way. Yes, it does. Because it's got this <clears throat> square and then a 45 doff, like a, a mitered edge, similar to like a mobile phone nano sim, whatever. So you can only trim it on one way. So they made it pretty foolproof. Lucky me. <clears throat> so we'll get that on. Get this adapter. Get this um, screw winded in there. Very good. Probably just hand tight. That's that's pretty tight because I'm flexing that. Skinny a little bit. Click it down. Nice. That's what it looks like. <coughs> Pre-monitor. Hung. Cable your holes. I think this one here is internally routed. Maybe you can drop them down there. Mm. No. Right, so that's the stand. Then I've seen this cool trick. I never knew this and I've always been doing it wrong, but <coughs> here's the instructions here. I've, I've never known about this where you build the stand, then click it onto the back of the monitor while it's in the box. I've normally ripped everything out in the past, check we've got everything, and then do that. So we won't do it, ask about today. That'd be embarrassing. I've done it many times. These orange things look like port protectors. Probably should check the manual. Yep, that's a display port protector. Probably leave it in there for now because we probably won't use the two for daisy chaining. Also got that's a USB-C port protector. So all of the specs for these guys are online. There's like one million videos. <coughs> I thought I'd just show mine on there. I'm not a professional channel or anything like that. So we've got the two tabs here. They're going to jam in there first to these two locator holes here, and then I assume it's just going to snap down. There's also like a release button. That's probably for when you want to take it out. So let's have a crack at that. So two tabs. Super simple to put them in. Drop that down. Click. That's in. That was easy. So now we just lift it out. Oh, wow. Who would have thought? If you follow the manual, it makes it easier. Watch some videos. That's good. So once again, glass bubble foam with the instructions that I've never followed before. Maybe they weren't on there, I don't know. Um, so we'll set that aside. <coughs> that, that appears to be um, everything from the box. Yep, that's pretty sturdy. So that definitely took a bit of a belt in transit, no issues. So we'll get all this guff out of the way Oops. don't smoke them on or shift that <clears throat> yeah so that's that's pretty nice oh so it's it's covered again too with that uh, bubble paper that looks all right um, yeah so that's um really well packaged that's that's pretty good Pretty good, so just that. Uh, yep, you can shim it down. Might be able to see a little bit better with there. That's good. So now I can see that we've got some of that tape on the top edge. Yep, so and then swivel, of course. Wow, that stand is so heavy that you don't need to press down on the plate. My other one's pretty light, and you actually have to hold that while you swivel it because it's got time. Um, Bit of resistance so it doesn't wobble around. It's pretty, I don't know, if I, me, once I've set the angle, I don't really go mucking around with that anymore. Well, I haven't. Some people might. More of that protective stuff. So, yeah, that's nice. So, to look at that, it's, I wouldn't say it's a gloss screen, but I wouldn't say it's matte. I'd say that's somewhere in between. That is bloody heavy as. So, that looks, looks pretty nice. Um, I'll try and spin this around without busting it. So you can see that um, underneath that, got some um, USB C. Shit, that's really heavy. One hand, USB C there, another USB. So that's going to be easy when you're working at it. Then underneath that, you got some um, all your ports, power, all that stuff. Blah blah. In that's a ripper. So um. Pretty excited to connect that up. 
to the new Dell Alien thing that I got. That's actually a good graphics card and heaps quicker than even my new Spectre. That's just junk when you compare it to the Alien. So that's number one. I've got uh, the second one. I'd say to look at that doesn't... It is bigger than the 27. I wouldn't say it looks ridiculously big. Um, I'd say it'd be a nice size. So we've got the second one, which we'll undo as well. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty impressed with that. That looks really good. Righto, team, we'll, um, we'll get that second one out and get all of this fired up. And yeah, so first impressions, that's good. Packaging quality is good. And yeah, looking forward to using it. Righto, team, hope you have an awesome day.